So here is where we left off the other day. I had um, edited uh, the photo and brought the photo in for you. And then also did the same thing for, um, I showed you how to do the PNG of the oranges. So once I've got this, then it's time to actually build my ad, right? So this point it's like layout and composition. And I'm thinking about rule of thirds and thinking about all of the different elements that I have to bring in here. So I need, um, the logo elements for my signature. I need my headline. I need my copy. And hopefully by the time that you get to this, you already have a plan because you've put your plan together on plan your ad, you have your thumbnail sketches. So really it's just building out the stuff that you've made a plan for. Okay. So because of that, I'm going to go pretty quickly through this because you should have a plan. What I want to show you is you need to make sure that you have um, the logo. So I actually, in my print ad file, I have um, subfolders for logos. I have the photo of my retouch stuff. In my logo folder, I have a version of the target logo that's white. I have the original red. Um, I've got other versions of it white. I've got Zycam in blue and Zycam in white. So I could build this on a white or a black background, depending on what I want. Let's just say I want a white target logo. Okay. So I'm going to go online and maybe I can't, I'm, I might not be able to find an actual white target logo, but I can search for it. White target logo. What I would do for your logo design or your logo, by the way, is don't bring it into grab it and try to vectorize it. You want to do any editing in photo P to get it the right color. Don't vectorize a logo. It will degrade it. Okay, so I'm looking for a transparent PNG and there's a couple that are here. There's a horizontal version of the logo. Um, I think I just want the, the bullseye for my purposes. So, um, and remember, we can't always trust that it's going to be actually white. So I'm going to grab this one. It's gray. We'll just grab it, put it on there. Then I'm going to drop it into photo P. It is gray. So um, I'm going to select everything that's gray with the magic wand and create a new layer. And on that new layer, I'm going to, I've got default swatches black and white here, but if I don't, I can click D and get those. I'm gonna make a black version, option delete. Oh, that's a white version, I'm sorry. Option delete. And then I'm gonna make another layer and I'm gonna make a, black, a white version. So now I have a white version of that logo and I have a black version. So I'll save that. Let's go there. Export PNG, quick save. And now I'll turn on the black version and I'll export that one. I'm gonna go to my downloads folder All right here. So I already had done this first period, but for those ones, I grabbed the whole logo. So you can see I've got the word target on it. I'm not gonna put target on this one. So rename, so this is white target only. Black target only. I'll put all of these into my print ad folder, into my logos. We'll just put them right here for right now. So I have them all. Okay, going back to my ad, um, uh, I'm not going to do the same thing for Zycam. So you guys can see the process of what I just did for the logo. I had to do the same thing for my Zycam logo. Okay. If you have any questions or if there's anything specific that you want me to show you, you need to speak up and let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of try to build this ad. What I'm doing is I'm putting, I'm pulling in the pieces that I need and then I'm going to lay it all out. So I'm going to grab white target only. It's pretty big. So I will just reduce it in size and I, I'm going to need it probably down here somewhere. Okay. And then I need the Zycam logo, which I had already done. And I want to use this blue version um, of the logo. And I want the PNG because I want the transparency. So there's my Zycam logo. And I'm going to reduce it in size just so I get it 
I'm getting it kind of in about the place that I know I want it. Okay, so now um, I should have my copy and my headline already written. I can copy and paste it into here. I can just retype it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and type it right here. I'm gonna type my headline in. My headline goes about here to here. I want it to fill up my margin. So this would be um, packed with power. And I'll highlight that. Now, I definitely want to do some work on selecting fonts for your headline. Your headline should be a display font, something that has more personality than the rest of the copy. It's gotta be powerful, okay? So for me, I've, um, I don't want it to compete too much with the Zycam logo. So I'm choosing um, a font called Red Text, I think. Let's see, Red, Red Hat Text. So it's got a little bit of personality and there's different weights. So I'm gonna click bold. And remember 72 inches is one inch in real life, or 72 points is one inch. I'm gonna make my font as big as I can to fit in that space there. And I'll center it in the space. And then the sub headline is the power of vitamin C. And I'm gonna to need to make that text smaller because it can't fit I want that to fit on one line. So if this is 55, I'm going to kind of go down incrementally and I'll make that 45. See, that fits okay. And there we go. I want it a little bit closer together. So obviously the black doesn't work on that background. But what I had done on my other versions is I created this tab or what is called a pill shape. So these have pill shapes behind them. So I'm gonna do that. There's another version. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a rectangle and I'm gonna make a rectangle right here. And I'm gonna adjust the corner and slide it to whatever I want it to be. It could be a full pill shape or it could be like these rounded corners. It's up to you. I'm just gonna go with the full pill shape. And it's in my layers, it's above my text. Don't forget to uh, organize your layers. So we'll call this one like headline fill. So I know what I'm dealing with. And I want it to be a different color. I wanna pick up on probably this bright yellow that's popping down here. So I'm gonna grab the fill um, canvas color picker and I'm gonna come down to here. Nope, I picked the wrong color. Nope. Let's go right in here. There's a nice orange in there. There we go. I want to just pick something nice and bright. And if I want to adjust it further, I can to bring up the brightness a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna move this behind my text. Nope, move it behind my text, there we go. And um, I think that I want maybe to change that text to, I'm just shifting it down a little bit, changing it to white, okay? So I'm going to select it all and change it to white. I also wanna tighten up the letting a little bit. So I'll do that right down here where it says line. Instead of 100%, I'm gonna go 90%. Do I like that? Maybe 85% of line width. Yep, tightens it up just a little bit. And I can reduce this pill shape a little bit. And I wanna bring the corner value down slightly because I, I want it to fit nicely in there. Okay, so there's that. Now. I think I want to um, bring in my copy or type in my copy. So I'm, I'm not gonna retype it. I've already written it out a couple of different times. I've got it, I cut a couple of different versions here. This one is kills colds 25% faster when taken at the first sign of a cold. And um, this one is slightly different. It's medicated fruit drops with the power of vitamin C to shorten the common cold. So I'm just gonna grab this one right here. So imagine that I'm, I'm taking this from my um, planning your ad worksheet. And if you um, 
already have it kind of worked out or written out somewhere, even if it's on a Google Doc, grab, grab it and bring it in here or retype it if you need to. I'm not going to take the time to type in front of you guys right now. So I'm making a box about that size. I'll click paste. Will it let me paste? It might not let me paste. It might not let me paste this. Copy. Yeah, it won't. So let me just, um, what did I say? Um, kills, kills colds. Let's, let's reiterate the whole idea, the power to kill colds 25% faster when taken at the first sign of a cold. And it's number one, doctor recommended. Now I'm not making this up on the, this is something that you guys already have written and worked out, okay? Um, now I gotta format this text. So I wanna think about alignment. I wanna think about size, the, the type of font that I'm choosing. Now I've chosen something, a uh, font that I think is probably, it works okay um, if I use the same font, but I might wanna use a different weight of it because I've got all these different weights of this font. So, um, but I wanna change the alignment. I'm gonna align it to the right because I want a nice little negative space thing happening right here. And I want to keep it red hat text, but let's make it bigger. Let's make it 30 points. Let's see how that goes. And let's change the medium. Okay. So if that, that actually moves my number one doctor recommended to two lines, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to reduce that to 25, thinking about everything in increments. I don't want to have a gazillion different sizes, but I want to have, you know, this size, I want this size, and then I'm going to put another piece of text right here. So um, I don't like the black text. I'm actually gonna make all that text um, the same color, navy blue. So I'll choose the navy blue from the logo right there. So I've got that basic stuff there. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. And um, I want one more piece of text that says, um, new flavor available exclusively at Target. That's basically my call to action is to get people to go buy this thing at Target. So I'm gonna reduce, I just made a copy of that um, text box, you guys, so that I could use the already formatted text. Let's try and use this size, which was a little bit bigger. So, this says the power to kills cold. <laughs> um, let's say we want this to say new flavor, new flavor exclusively at, and then people know what the target logo is. So I don't need to say that again, but I do think that I might need to think about the formatting of this text slightly. So uh, maybe bold and maybe white and it's okay if it sits over the bottom of my I think it's okay if it sits over the bottom of my jar a little bit but this is a little bit too big yeah I kind of want this and the target logo that text and the target logo to be centered on the hor same horizontal plane and I wanna pay attention to the distance between here and here margin and here and here. So they all kind of go together, okay? So there's that. Now let's look at these other ads that I did. Some of the things I did here, I created a more clear one third, one third, one third using different color blocks. I also have these tabs or pills behind some of the other key information to pop them out. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that, okay? So on this one, I need to put like a white tab or something behind the Zycam logo. So I'm going to grab another rectangle and I'm going to just go like this and make that white. I think I want it white. Um, and then I want to adjust the corner options on it. And 
and it's behind everything. So I need to put it behind the Zycam logo. So there's that. Maybe it needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay. And um, let's say I want number one doctor recommended to also pop. Let's make a copy of this and bring this down. And maybe that one um, is the same color as this one up here. And I think maybe number one doctor recommended needs to be bold. Changing the corner options. So there's that. Um, let's think about the, this is, this is good as is, but let's think about this background that I've got going on here. Um, do I want those oranges going all the way down or do I really want to split the page a little bit differently? If you choose to have something like that blending out in a transparency, you can, but I'm just going to show you what you could do if you wanted to split it with like a more solid color. And it doesn't, yours does not have to be built like mine. You could have things arranged totally differently. I'm just showing you how I'm building mine. I'm going to choose this color from the cap, like an orange color. Let's brighten that up a little bit. Okay. And let's call this solid orange better. I need to org do some organizing of my, um, my layers over here. Um, let's move it so that it's behind all this text and put it on top of the oranges. And let's see what happens if we used a blending mode like um, soft light or hard light to kind of bump up that um, color a little bit. Now, if I did that, I probably don't want my oranges to come all the way down to here. So I'm just going to think about the rule of thirds. I'm going to move this up a little bit. And I think I want my oranges to also be cut off up there too, if I wanted to. So I'm going to go to sub select and I'm going to crop that image to right here. Now I have two versions of it. So here's the other one, sub select, crop it to right here. Gives it a nice clean, um, line for where my headline goes. And then in that case, I think I want my Zycam logo to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to um, Zycam logo. Hold on a second. I got to go back to this pointer tool. Zycam logo and box that it's on. Let's see. That's this and this. I need these two things to be grouped. So I'm going to select them both and group them. Nope. Wrong. Hold on, Zycam logo and rectangle blue. Let's see, I think that's this, yes, and this. I'm gonna grab these two things and group them. Now I can move them together and I can resize them together, okay? So I'm gonna move that down there. Maybe that doesn't, that white doesn't work as well now on this background so I could potentially change it to the same yellow as this might make it pop a little bit better. I'm actually have my guides out if you don't have your guy uh, your rulers out go to view canvas show rulers and I'm going to draw a guide to give myself I'm going to draw drag it out from here and I'm going to give myself this is my edge right here the word Zycam. So I want all of this to stop here and I want um, this to be smaller. Maybe doctor recommended needs to be a little bit smaller too. 20. There we go. It's a little bit too small. Move that down a little bit. Shift it back up a little bit. So what I'm trying to do is create a little bit of white space here. So this stuff all lines up nicely. I want everything to line up here. I'm thinking about where my text breaks. The power to kill folds. Folds needs to be plural. I think I moved it over a little bit too much. Let's go out to the edge of the pill. 
And let's move this stuff in a little bit. Move this guide over slightly. That's better. Okay, packed with power, the power of vitamin C. I've got a headline, I've got some bright colors back there. I think that I could be done here if I wanted to be. Now on this one over here, um, I created this little strip at the bottom and I moved the picture up so that the logo popped on there. You could do that. This one over here, um, it's built totally differently. So. Let's just say this is where we're going to land for this and I'll click save and you need to make sure that you export this as a JPEG to put on your spark page. So we'll do that through makes exportable. Uh, we want it to be 300 DPI we will pick JPEG export it. Let's call this final ad oops. P, the number of the period you're in, your period two, your name, um, print ad. Let's call this final print ad. It's on my desktop for right now. Let's look at it and see what it looks like. Looks all right. I think I'm missing a little piece of uh, color over here. I got to fix that. So that's this right here. Needs to go over. It might actually be my oranges as well. I think those need to go over slightly. Yes, they do. And I think I want to make this text right here pop a little bit more. So I'm going to add a drop shadow to it. And I'm going to adjust the how much it blurs. I don't want it to blur too much. I want it to be sharp. I want to adjust the plane, the X and Y, to two, two pixels for all of it. And I'll take down the opacity to 50%. Let's see what that looks like. Yep, just gives it a little bit of a pop. And I actually want to round these corners slightly more so they match the rest of the stuff over here. Okay, let's save this one more time. Hold on, let me make sure I'm on the right page. Add. All right, guys. Print add, name your layers. I haven't really organized these layers very much. I've got a little bit of organization, but I probably would really organize them better to finish this thing. And we'll uh, just take the place of this one right here. Click save, place it. Let's see what that looks like. That's better, that little extra pop. It's got a little glow on it too. I don't know if I want that on there, but there's my final ad.